think the entrance is one of these. There we go. We're gonna see some apartments today. A couple of good ones, a couple of bad ones. Will any of them be worth it? There's really only one way to find out. Four apartment. It's thirty three ninety five. Uh, so it's just not really that big. Don't worry. This isn't your refrigerator. Look at how close the actual fridge is. Man, that lines up perfectly. Dishwasher, microwave, sink comes with a sprayer. Doesn't want to go back in. And even though your phone barely fits on that counter, we got this little island over here. And underneath the counter here, you can totally get like stool or something. Get a little makeshift kitchen table. Perfect for eating by yourself. I'm guessing that goes there. This is the living room. It's about 10 by eight and a half. You lose this area, but that'll fit a table and an entertainment center. I guess I came at the right time because once that tile goes down in here, nobody is gonna be allowed in this little bathroom. Good water pressure, medicine cabinets. The shower door lines up, everything clears. Massive shower head. A bathtub in here would have been the worst decision. Let's test out the throne. Oh yeah, look at that. Lateral movement confirmed. What the? Not a lot of room down here. And these machines are blocking some sort of door. There's like, this door, there's something stopping me. I can't, I can't open it. I've never encountered this before. That room is essentially underneath this other room back here, which makes me think it's a little guy kind of like this. Although this is classified and priced as a one bedroom, so there might not be anything beneath this. This bedroom's not bad, 10 and a half by eight. Do you know if there's another room in the basement? I think so, there's another bedroom. There was a room. There is a room? Yeah. All right. I think one of these is the entrance. Which would lead into the basement and then let us get into that back room, but they're all locked. This one says it's supposed to be locked, so I'm not gonna go in there. But even if that is a way in, I don't know if you're gonna use it, unless you're out here emptying or recycling. price, but it feels different. The style here looks like it's from a different building, but the layout looks better. Weird, we've got like an actual cellar down here. I don't see any windows, so you can't call it a bedroom. Maybe you could set up a little office down here. A little half bath. It's a little tight though, look, you have to like close the door if you then wanna walk around to the sink. This is a big sink though. Pressure, same as the other place, which makes sense. Lots of storage. I can't get this open. Hopefully nobody else can either. Nice appliances, uh, but the counter space situation not really happening over here. But it's fixable, the living room is long. You could have a couch, you can have a TV, you can have a rolling counter against that table and then a real table. And I might be losing my mind because I don't know why I thought this one was better than the other one. Perhaps it felt bigger because it's longer. The bedroom here, this is about the exact same size. Eight feet 11 inches by nine feet 11 inches. Check the door out, it's got like some frosted paint or something. I guess that's so if you close it, light can kind of pass through the apartment. Closet kind of sucks though. Definitely kind of tight. Oh, look at that. Were you doing your laundry here? Is that yes, why? Yes, you know, it's cheaper than outside. <laughs> it is cheaper. Actually, 
You might have to go outside because uh, if your cart is out. Oh, but maybe this one works. Either way, as long as there's laundry somewhere, not outside, that's a plus. Rent is $3,600, that's great. That is great, this place is massive. Some people might not like the first floor, but we're on a pretty benign street and there's a gate out there and it's a doorman building. Just the living room here, 24 by 13. And we're only $300 more than what we saw first. Look at how big that is. Kitchen table. Makes sense, kitchen's right there. Couch, entertainment, free air conditioner. Storage here looks decent. And this is kind of unique. Look at the um, the peephole, it rotates. I haven't seen one like that. It's like futuristic. Nice luxury kitchen. Counter space for jackets. Let's see, we got the sink sprayer. Oh, Ooh. you can wash your hands. And your face. There's a pantry. Let's see if it fits a person. Oh boy. Yeah. No, no. <laughs> it's a tight squeeze, man. It would fit your cans of beans. 15 feet 3 inches by 10 feet 9 inches. Now that closet fits a person. Look at that. You got like one, two, three hangers. The rest of this is big too. You got a big bed. Probably over here by the windows and then set up a home office. You can do it. All right, here we go. You did it. All right. Don't break it. Look at this. Look, no, look at the edge. You see the edge? Oh. Oh, there's a hinge. Oh, that is weird. I feel scared, like letting, letting it go. We've got free toilet paper. Man, these luxury apartment landlords, they really know how to spoil you. Look at this, good counter space, cabinet space. Oh, Mr. Oh, look at that. Another one of these little guys. That is so useful. I guess this is your linen closet. Studio. Studio apartment. Ground floor, but again, we've got the nice little setback right there. And some sort of garden going on out here. But it's basically a one room apartment minus the bathroom. The hallway closets are awesome. It is the only closet in the unit, but at least it's really big. Kitchen's pretty much the same. I'd put a table right here. You can watch the TV above the table. And then across from that, set up a nice big couch. Well, maybe not too big, because you're gonna need your bed by the window. Hey, does this lamp stay? It looks like it goes with the place. Whatever they leave, you get. Finders keepers. The bathroom here is amazing. In fact, I think this is better than the other apartment's bath. Something about the way the sink and the little lights and stuff are. Tub looks easier to get to. Do you think it's better? I think so. There's the apartment and look at this. Ain't nobody going over there unless they're Spider-Man or unless they uh, flip open this gate right here and go around. It's uh, it's unlocked too. Oh no. How far is the next building? A block away. Thank you so much. Our code didn't work. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is like home modders going on. Jeez. Um, when can I move in? Um, two years. <laughs> two years? Sounds good. Let's get out of here. This one looks promising. Are you the landlord? Uh oh, all right. I don't know if he's always this friendly. But look at this. We've got like an entire laundromat in the basement of this building. Dude, you got some winners lined up today. I do. Did you see the cat? And that's not a deli cat. This is pretty cool. Full service building right here. I've also got the doorman upstairs. And you can use the laundry until 10.01 p.m. Or he'll kick you out. No. We need a key? Um. We're having problems today. Are you in the bedroom? It's a pretty small bedroom. Such a cool layout. This is 36. 
And that's not the only walk-in closet. We've also got this one right here. And then down these cute little steps, we've got another one over here. So storage on this is a 10 out of 10, but it looks like this one is still being renovated. My guess is they're protecting the old floors so that they can do everything else, like the kitchen. Exactly. This is so nice. Look at this. We are facing south, looking out over the street. And this is over 30 feet from end to end. Over by the bags, you could put a bench. You want to get the most out of this entryway. And this kitchen, very, very interesting because we have this bizarre column. Okay, it clears. The stove is gonna go in here. Actually, that's for the fridge. The stove is gonna go over here by the window. Look, and this little sheet, this tells you everything that they're gonna do, even down to each screw. And this is the countertop, but you can take a bar counter under it. So that could have stools, give you a spot to eat, den area with a couch over here. And then I guess your bed goes in that far corner. I just don't like the idea of the bed being in the middle of the room. Like, let's say it's there, then you gotta walk past it to hang out with Charles. Nothing wrong with hanging out with Charles. That's true, I do it a lot. Nice little bathroom here. Really dusty. Let's check the water. Is it on? Yeah, it's on. Sounds good. Kind of narrow, but like, you know, if you're inside the shower, you can reach the towel. This looks like an expensive door. I would close it. Well, oh yeah, I can. Look at that. You don't hear anything. Very nice. Throne room's a little tight. It clears, man. You can test it out. You're not actually going, are you? <laughs> Why is there a bug tent over this thing? This one is Somebody not. Was living here for 100 years. Really? I think you did the right thing by showing us the other one first. Boy, it's like a wood shop in here. Look at that, kitchen's not even in yet. Can I see the bathroom? Oh man, it's so ancient looking. I am kind of creepy. This is a weird small apartment. This is a weird small apartment. Ooh, floor number 12. So it's really small. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's so small, but I absolutely love it. It's 12 feet long and the width is 7 feet 11 inches. Which means this whole place is like 100 square feet. This is the entryway, which I didn't count. So there's a few extra square feet here. You could put a bar in the hang in the corner and hang up jackets and stuff. And if you don't sleep standing up, your bed's going in the corner right over there. And then next to the kitchen, you could have a table and mount a TV on that wall. The actual closet, it is pretty big. This goes back quite far. You have a little light. That's a nice touch. Two shelves and then those shelves. So usually these go for like $21, $2,200. With a luxury view, look at that. We got the Chrysler building right there. This is a luxury apartment. Let's check out the roof deck. Ugh. Okay, that is like a once in a lifetime view. Now we're looking at it direct. Those are all your neighbor's windows. Do you think we're allowed to put furniture out here? Just don't get caught. <laughs> How do you not get caught? <laughs> There's other windows. There's cameras. There's all these buildings right here. You're gonna get caught. Gordon? Oh man, yeah, it should be on. This ain't bad. You can fit. Yeah, you can fit. Yeah. Just dive in. Land right on your bed. It's so funny to head to put the fridge over here, but I bet before they renovated this, there was a mini fridge underneath that sink. Surprisingly though, this is pretty good for a small kitchen. We got the vent, oven looks pretty good. Yeah, no, it does, I tested it. No, no, it opens the right way. Oh. Yeah, they didn't do it wrong. I just they tried it. They didn't do it wrong. And if you're taller, you could put a microwave up on top of that. It's kind of like this useless uh, shelf way in there. I don't know how you're gonna put anything in that. You know what? It's a tight bathroom, but it's I think it's big enough. First of all, we got a window. We got the throne. This is workable. We got like this bowl-shaped sink. That's kind of fancy. Now, of course, we don't have like a massive tub. This is a little standing shower, but it's not bad. We've even got some storage beneath the sink. Look at that. If this rents for like 2000 to 2300 I think it's a good deal. I think it's an excellent deal if you want a doorman building, laundry, and a nice view. If you want to live here, Mr. Charles Monroe, I have his info right here. Thanks, buddy. Thanks a lot. 
Subscribe if you had fun. Pick something else. See you in the next one.